Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Saturday, and we are getting ready to head out and go do our Saturday thing, go eat lunch, and then maybe go to Costco or wherever. And um, so, I thought I would do another video to show you two things. Let's see, I got, let's see, two orders in since I did the video the other day. I didn't get my handbag. I actually just went through and I tried to do my hair. I don't know if you guys saw the latest picture of Rosie Huntington Whiteley with her hair over on the side. So last night, for the heck of it, I did it that way, but it feels so unnatural to me. I am so used to the middle, but I thought I would so do anyway, it the heck of it. Anyway, what I wanted to show you, I ordered some t-shirts or tank tops from LNA, their website. They have really good sales on their website, and I have been wanting some tank tops, and you guys know I've been into like the camis and stuff like that. So they had these tank tops on there that have the the style that's more of the cut in. Um, you know, it cuts in like that instead of just a regular tank. So I got this one, which is the, oh, it doesn't have the name on it. But um, I will put the links down below. And I don't know if they had many sizes left, but I'll let you see. So I got that little tank. And then I got another one. This one is still the cut in, but so I'm used to I'm used to the tags having the name from Oliver, but these are just straight from the company. But I love tanks like this. They're so flattering that come up high and then are cut out like that. And I thought these would be good to just wear anytime, but also underneath my blazers and stuff for that same look that I like. So, and I had ordered a pink one too, but they were out of it. I ended up not getting that one. Okay, this is what I've been excited to show you, and I wanted to wait until the pair I have on came in, but when I was getting ready to go to New York, I was, like I said, I didn't want to be a drag on Sheila, so I was asking her what she was wearing, and she said leggings. And I said, you know, what kind? You know, Lululemon. I know she always gets nice stuff, and, you know, she lives in right outside of LA, so she knows all the most happening brands, and there's so many good brands just being made over there. And um, so I said, you know, Lululemon, or I guessed a few kind, and she said, no. She said, David Lerner leggings. She said, they're the best. I've had them for five years, and they don't stretch, they don't fade, anything. So I had never heard of those, but I went and ordered a pair of the um, David Lerner leggings from his website and these are just the plain Jane leggings and I got a medium because I wanted I didn't want them to be too small I didn't want to risk it and um, I was able to wear the cuddle dud you know pant type things underneath these and I just don't mind if my leggings are a little bit loose especially because I like to wear mine as pants a lot so, um, but I really could take the small. So if you're my size and you want them to fit snug and hold you in like leggings, order the small. But if you're like me and you don't mind if they, you know, give a little bit and are just a little bit loose, then medium. And, um, but what is so fabulous about these is they are unlike any other pair I've ever had. It's almost like they're like the Okay, let me tell you exactly what they're made of, of course. Um, they are 92% nylon and then 8% spandex. And they're thick. I mean, they're not so thick that you couldn't, you know, that you're not going to wear them the same as you would other leggings, but they are like pants. And I love them. I have worn and washed these probably... These are like my go-to now. These are the ones I look for. Now, the ones, the BP leggings from Nordstrom that are only $18, those are really nice, but they're not as substantial as this. And my hair is just driving me crazy. It is getting washed tonight. I can't stand it. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I really encourage you to give these a try if you are in the market for a nice pair of leggings. Now, they're not inexpensive. I think the regular pair here, just the plain Jane ones, were 90 or something like that. I, I ordered these straight from his site, but they're available on like Revolve, Shopbop. Um, I'm not sure if they're available like on, um, I think Amazon. Yep, yeah, because I got the ones I have on from Amazon. 
And when I got there, I showed him to Sheila. She looked at me like she couldn't believe I had just gotten the plain ones because hers are the ones with like all that. She's got the cargo, the ones with all the zippers and a bunch of cool ones. And I wish I had gotten those and I'm still probably going to get some more because they are so neat. And um, like I said, she's had hers, she said, for five years and they're still, they look brand new. So I got these and then I want to, I'll go ahead and stand up and do an outfit of the day and then show you the ones that I just ordered and I just got yesterday. So the top so I have right on is just a Monroe tee. Um, it's the linen tee. It's one of my favorite tees. It's good when you want something that's v-neck. Um, it's got a good weight to it because it's the linen and um, it's just a good length and everything. Okay, these it's are the, the, the small. See, if they if these were tighter, you would see um, these little rips and stuff down here too. Um, but and then that it's got these. So these are just like the typical. Um, legging just like my other ones except for they have the rips in them and I just thought they were so cute looking and just something different like today I'll probably put on my moto jacket so put on my moto jacket and then it's just I don't know it just adds a little something and um, I just think they're so neat I'm so happy with them and they're just even like these little ripped parts are even still thick and they're not um, they're not like sketchy looking, they're real uniform. And um, so, but the reason I got the medium instead of the small is I didn't want my, you know, leg rumpling out of there like a can of biscuits or something. You know, I wanted them to lay flat like that. But I can see that this bottom one, um, because they're too big for me, the bottom is not showing like it should. So I would recommend getting the ones that fit and I might even get I don't know. As I lose more weight, I don't know. I'll just have to see how I like these today. So I just couldn't wait to show you these. I just think they're so cool. And as you can see, um, they're, they're plenty tight enough to hold you in, but it's not like they're tight right here or anything. Okay, now I'm gonna take this off because I don't need it in here. Okay, so one other thing I thought I would do, and this is why I don't wear my hair on the side. It drives me nuts. One other thing I thought I would do, and if you're not interested, then just, that'll be fine. You can click off now. But I told you the other day that I had gotten a lot of new earrings and things from Sheila. And I had ordered a lot of big earrings that I noticed when she's had so many celebrities wear her things. Oprah, um, gosh, Goldie Hawn's daughter wears her stuff. Um, I'm trying to think of the little dark-headed girl. Um, not Eva Mendez, but Eva Longoria wears some of her stuff. And usually when you see people wearing her things, it's usually not just the simple hoop. Um, Carrie Underwood, all those. It's usually a bigger earring. So what I thought I would do today is go through the earrings that I ordered and maybe try some stuff on because it's, I was getting ready to take pictures the other night and it's just so hard for me to show them the right way in a picture. I thought if I showed them to you now, and what I'll do is I don't know the names right off the bat right now um, by, you know, by heart, but what I'll do is put the name underneath when I try them on. And I looked at, see, when she went to New York, she brought a whole suitcase of jewelry for me to look at so I could pick some stuff and order it. So anyway, here are the first pair, and I just think these are so pretty. And Keep in mind, even though all this stuff is big, it's still really, really light because you know that's kind of what she's known for. So I'm going to, I'm probably gonna keep a pair of each of them. So I'll go ahead and try them on for you so you can see. But, oh my God, these are so pretty. And in the summer, sometimes I just like to wear a pair of earrings and maxi dress or something and that is it. And just look how pretty those are and how much they show. Oh, God. And it elongates your neck, everything. So I'll put the name of these right here. Okay, so I'll show you these in silver because I know a lot of you like silver. Look at these. And so these are a little different. These aren't um, just the ones that feed through. These have a post. So I probably won't keep these silver ones because I wear more gold. But that's how, gosh, look how pretty. That's how these would be. See, to me, this would look good with this outfit. Just one 
big funky like silver thing with this a whole black outfit and I do have the gold in these two and that's how it is light I mean very very light these are okay really, this really is a hoop you know she has a store right in LA and so she tells me a lot of times what the girls the young girls there are getting and what's been popular and she said these hoops have really been popular these are the rose gold and they're gorgeous and I think these are a little bit thinner than the everyday or everybody's favorite hoop but maybe just a little bit bigger I know I'll probably keep up here these so okay yeah so that's just a bigger hoop but thinner I love that and look how pretty it would be with your hair up so in light you can't even feel them in that's what she's known for so I'll have those and I'll put the name right down here these and I saw um, on the Real Housewives of New York they I noticed that they were wearing a lot of the oval shaped hoops and so I jumped up and took a picture of Lisa Renna. I think it was when she was on what, Watch What Happens Live. And I sent it to Sheila and I told her I wanted some oval hoops. Look at those. They are so pretty. Okay. Definitely know I'm keeping a pair of these. Love those. And just something different. If you're like me, you wear hoops all the time. Look how pretty those are. They're gorgeous. Oh, love these okay so I know I know those will do well those well, that was a no-brainer because I had a pair of oval hoops I think they were just like Jennifer Lopez brand that I had gotten from Kohl's one time that I wore out so a lot of times the oval hoops are a little bit easier you can go a little bit bigger with an oval hoop I don't know I guess just because it's not as big it's so pretty this reminds me of some of those really expensive necklaces that I've seen in sacks and um, so here it is it's a long kind of loopy necklace and you can do so many things it's got the long kind of extension so you can wear it you know wrapped around your arm you can wear it double you can layer it all that kind of good stuff and it's priced really well to be such a statement piece so I'll have those. Okay, this necklace goes with some of the earrings, but I don't know if I'd wear the earrings and the necklace together. I just like this on its own. And it's just kind of a short necklace, and then it goes like that, and I think that looks so good with maxi dresses, tank tops, palazzo pants, just all this stuff reminds me of the summertime, or even, you know, with your bathing suit on. Now that I'm not gonna be tanning my chest, I can wear more necklaces and stuff because I don't have to worry about a tan line. Okay. This I ordered for myself because she had one on and I loved it. But I'll show it to you before I wear it. It is a ring that has the pearl and the onyx, I believe. And what you do is you squeeze it like that and adjust it to whatever size or whatever finger you want. And let's see, I, don't, I hate to squeeze it too much now. I have to do it later and then I'm not sure if she has any more of these. I kind of had just ordered this because I saw her wear it. Okay, this is a Labradorite necklace. I wore this while I was there too. I think I wore this in one of my pictures too. And I love it. I love like the square chain. And this looks good when you are layering like another necklace and maybe like a little life bean necklace or something with it too. And just going for that really, really layered look or it looks good right on its own and the stone she really loves all the different stones and um okay these are the new magnetized bracelets that she was showing me i love the nude one and these look really good stacked with anything like i could wear this with anything and so here is like nude leather and then it's just a magnet so it's real easy to put together and just something interesting, you know, to put with your stack of bangles or with your watch or anything like that. The red. And this will be a good bathing suit um, bracelet too, because I can't imagine that that would get hurt. Okay, now here comes the big fun 
funky ones and they're the reason I these are the reason I really wanted to show them to you in person because I don't feel like you can just a lot of these just need to be hanging on an ear kind of for you to see oh, just ran through see how they need to kind of these are the ones with the post and I love how one circle these are the ones I always see people in LA wearing like when you see celebrities wearing her jewelry and these are not too big they won't hang they'll hang about like that and oh, they're so pretty and they're so light I mean they're they feel like light as a stud you know they're not they're Shady not heavy at all might be um, what what is this called is this oxidized maybe it's oxidized but how cool is that and so these are a little bigger but same concept I love like the gunmetal and the oxidized. I especially love it when it's mixed with the gold, like the shark's tooth necklace. That's one of my favorites. So here's these, and I do have these in gold and silver too. But, and so it's got the post and then just really light. These are so pretty. And these are more of a, they're still not heavy, but they're more of a solid look. More of a, wasn't a thing to do um you know and then that's going to hang just like that and then that will and the movement of them and the little jingle <laughs> love those okay. and here are another pair and these are getting bigger so i don't know it's just kind of like an experimental thing to see if we will like this here let me put this in just so you can see i can see this with a my solid black um maxi dress the one with short sleeves and this see and it just hangs and shows through your hair so nice i don't know it's neat how it just brings your whole look together these i already had in the smaller version but the ones that were in whatever magazine um because it says in her ma in her on her website that one of them was featured in a magazine it was this size so it's just kind of like an abstract it actually is about the same um shape as these the last ones these are really cool i think a lot of you would like these these are just like the circles and they are made of the same of course the same stuff as like her hoops and they would go like that so some of it is just like thin and flat and then some of it is round so it would be according to which ones you liked better i love those so okay cool. these are the ones <laughs> Was looking for don't be surprised if you see me with my hair up later okay these I thought those were so cool and these are really really light and kind of small so if you wanted something with that same effect but smaller and they kind of remind me of like not really like fish scales but you know what I mean how they layer like on top of each other okay that took me a long time to find those okay and I have on no accessories right now I will probably just go put on a pair of stud earrings or something and um so i hope you guys have a good saturday and i will see you next week bye bye